He's in his fart. Um, he's making his own business. He's watching telly, sitting on a cactus. Um, when the Canadian assassin enters the building, uh, pointing, pointing a gun to the back of his head, and below, it's like a bad Pennsylvania. Uh, and below, to the Canadian assassin, a Mandan interpreter has entered the building. He's friends with Johnny Vance. Um, he goes behind the guy who's behind Johnny Vance. He's behind, um, behind. Attacks him. Um, and takes a gun out of his hand and he went slick maneuver, hands it to Johnny Vance, who turns around and points the gun at the Canadian assassin. Then he remembers that, oh, hold on, I'm a pacifist. Uh, so, as a kind of compromise, he challenges the Canadian assassin to a duel to the death. Um, and now the Canadian assassin declines the deal, um, which I didn't know you could do. But, so, um, so if you're on Captain Ice Street tonight and um, you challenge the deal, you can just say no. Um, so the Canadian assassin returns to Canada through the snow and uh, leaving Johnny Vance smug at the 48th parallel, still in control. structure 
and for the first time on his lengthy journey, he decides to turn back. He goes to see Chief Black Cat at the Mandan and says, my time is done here now. And he decides to try his luck in New Orleans, the capital of New Spain. Uh, he hopes to find a job, so he thunders down the Missouri River, which flows into the Mississippi River. And if you combine those two rivers, it's the longest river in the world. Which it isn't because it's two rivers. Um, <laughs> In any case, he thunders down this extremely long waterway in a record 68 days. Um, and finally, um, <laughs> in the autumn of uh, 1798, he thunders into the swampy funk of New Orleans. Uh, he lives in this house. Um, things were looking up for a while. But they soon start to go wrong. Um, not only is his whole life's work in tatters, his whole reason for existing is in pieces. The malaria returns, he gets a touch of cholera. Um, he, some people think he got heavily into booze at this point. Um, things just couldn't get any worse for John Evans. Um, but now they do. Because at the age of 29, John Evans 